Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're gonna do something on the C7 Audi A6 30T. And basically what happened is I was doing an oil change and went to reset the service intervals with VCDS. And in doing so, I just do a routine full system scan to see if it's got any stored codes. And sure enough, I had a code stored for fan number two, short to ground, and I don't remember the actual number, I can put it up on the screen, but that was news to me. Um, and also I've got a turn signal code I have to deal with. My turn signal switch is wonky and that's like a $425 part here in the US. So that's gonna be fun. But <clears throat> the cooling fan issue is not a good one to have, obviously. You don't want your car to overheat, etc. And this car has not been overheating, so I'm speculating that it's actually air conditioning related. It's on fan two. I'm gonna guess that's the AC fan. And if you're having this issue, a telltale sign would be that when it's warm and you have the AC on, you're getting cooling when you're like at, at speed on the highway. But as soon as you pull up to like a traffic light, it warms up. So it's that polar fan's not actually pulling it through the condenser, etc. So. I suspect that's what's going on with this car and it, we're into the fall and it's been cool here so we have not had the AC on and if so it was you know like while driving so we don't sit in a lot of traffic so I just hadn't noticed um, so I'm glad I, I spotted it now when it's still warm enough to do comfortably it's a balmy 50 degrees right here so I've got this already torn apart here <clears throat> and I'm going to show you that as I cut I'm kind of recutting the intro to this video <laughs> to elaborate on things a little bit but I'm also going to show you the replacement part and the part number from Audi I'm sure you can get these far far cheaper virtually anywhere else including maybe starting your own metal foundry and making your own but uh, for those of you that want to go to the dealer and get um, then here we go so as you can see I've already got the plastic cover off next step is you get to remove some of this plastic trim here, specifically the corner pieces right here. And there's a little nut there on the post, one on each side. And then this is a little push clip that goes in right there. So you have to pop that up with the pry tool. And then I've got to continue taking out these, uh, this one here. There's one here, one back up in the middle there and then mirrored on that side, of course. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this one out and see what else is holding this in. Um, hopefully I'm getting close here. I think there might be something else here, but we're gonna go ahead and get that out because the fuse box I need to access is of course buried right in the middle here. Uh, if it is not one of the 40 amp fuses that has blown, then I'm looking at the, the fan itself and shocker, this is a case where the part cost is absolutely ridiculous. These are, <laughs> I looked online, $2,070 per fan. There's two of them. Seriously, Audi, do you like just make these up at, you know, like it's been said a long time ago, but Audi should actually go to a comedy club and just start reading out their part prices because they're friggin' hilarious and just out of this world. $2,000 for a fan? Are you kidding? <laughs> How to make people not fans of your cars. That, that's one thing. Um, anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and take those out and we're going to see what's holding that brace in. And just to be a little bit of an extra pain, they stick one attachment point here and another right down here. So you can see those sitting kind of underneath this trim piece here. Get there and there. And those are, uh, what were these things? Let's see, T20s. So little T20s hiding in there. So now we can see that this is our fuse, fuse box location. So I'm gonna figure out how to open that. I think it looks pretty simple. A little tab there. Let me crack that open and see what we've got. And the big reveal of the fuses. Oh, there's like a little teeny mark. Maybe it is, yeah. Hey, look at that, look at that. Oh, I just went from two grand to six bucks. 
maybe hopefully we'll see okay right. so as you can see here part number is n1042402 and it's a 40 amp fuse <laughs> look at that 3391 Ooh, and that's supposedly with a 10 percent audi discount or something so these two little beauties are 3391 from an audi dealer it's literally like tin <laughs> it's just crazy so we're gonna go put these in and see if this does the trick okay new fuses are in as you can see uh not too big of a deal just obviously be careful um unhook your battery if you're worried uh, i had just a just a tiny hint of a spark when i hooked this back up i was just kind of in a hurry and i'm like yeah i can do these um so i just got them in and obviously a needle nose plier is good for getting that out i use a little pry tool to pry up the broken bit and then just carefully get it out with the pliers without touching anything else <clears throat> obviously when you disconnect these wires i had this one tucked back here this one tucked under and like i said the i saw just a tiny hint of a spark when i plugged that one back in um but did not blow the fuse fuse is still intact there going to uh do a little reassembly or we'll start this up first and test it and connect vcds and see if that resolves our fan issue okay it's going back together just want to review the location of the various bolts and things that you need to remove you've got of course for starters you have on the top here you got these two little guys i'm not sure actually if they have to come out i i loosened them but they are uh, t27s there's one on this side one on that side and then you have T10s, which are hidden right down here and right here. Those definitely have to come out. You then have to take a, let's see, what is this, a 10 millimeter. So there's a little 10 millimeter right here on this post and a 10 millimeter over on this post and then a pry tool to pop this push pin out same on this side there's a push pin here once you have that off and that popped out take this trim piece off it just that short section there same on that side remove this trim piece and then you're going to have access to your m10 which is right there you need one of those and that's what these bolts here are so you've got one here one here that's hidden under this trim there's one back top center right up in there you can just barely see it and of course right there and hidden under that side again so if you get all that out then you can basically lift that cross assembly out and of course you know you take the gasket off and that plastic cover off um, but all in all not that bad um, like I mentioned an M10 some pliers a little pry tool pick um this is helpful for getting those fuses up and then grab them with the pliers and carefully lift them out and a 10 millimeter and a t20 and then a magnet because when you take out that back um, m10 bolt you want to have a magnet on it just to make sure you don't drop it down into the cowl and kiss it goodbye um just always good to have one of these so pretty straightforward i would say start to finish i've got maybe an hour into this not too terrible um the worst part was i had to go to audi and pay 36 bucks for two little fuses <laughs> but uh hopefully that resolves your fan issues um pretty confident that's going to be mine i talked to a uh an audi tech friend of mine and he said he's done quite a few of these on a6s and a7s and generally you just replace the fuse and they're good to go for a while. So um, I'm hopeful that is the situation. If not, I will keep you updated. Okay, so here we are in VCDS. This is the fault code that I initially had that prompted me to change that blown fuse. So you can see it's a 6143 
PO693 fan 2 control circuit. So I'm going to clear that and hopefully a little stutter and fault codes erased, none found. All right, well, we're going to take this for a little drive and then come back and scan again and see what we got. Okay, good news is took it out for just a brief jaunt around the area here and my code did not come back so i think that blown fuse uh was it and we'll see if cool. thank you for watching we'll be back again soon with actually we've got some c5a6 activity coming some 27 stuff um i know it's a little bit out there but it'll kind of work for some of the b5 fans here we're going to do timing belt service on that car um and then also i've got some more or S4 stuff coming and some D2 S8 um, front bumper things coming. So stay tuned. I'll be back again in the future. Hopefully your Audis are running better than mine right now. <laughs> Take care.